Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm talking about Jeff Dalton. Jeff Dalton, hopefully, I'm saying that correctly, just signed a two way contract, according to Sham Sharania, with the Toronto Raptors. Man, this man averaged 16 points in four games this past year in the summer league, shot 57% from the field, 37% almost from three on three attempts a night was grabbing 4.3 rebounds and one and a half steals, okay? And what did you guys need to know about Jeff Down? He's a guy who's bounced around the NBA already. And DJ Wilson was the one who got himself a two-year deal while, you know, Jeff over here is from Upper Marlboro in Maryland, you know? He's a DC boy. He played Rhode Island for college basketball, went undrafted out in 2020, and spent time with the Magic Warriors, Bucks, went back to the Magic, and... Really, he's only appeared in nine NBA games, but this is a guy who's going to come in and be able to offer the ability of some size. Okay, people don't realize that he's six foot three, but he plays like he's a lot bigger, in my opinion. And it's I think first off, due to the fact that he's a bit bulkier than most people would imagine for a six foot three guy that is only 177 pounds like when i see him play i don't think he's 177 pounds and he just moves really strong for his size and i've always i personally have found him a fascinating player since he's came into the nba because he's just been on i'm an orlando magic fan so i've seen him multiple times on my team and he's been he's had a two-way contract with the warriors so he's impressed the warriors and he coming out of college he was a guy who was a good scorer off the dribble has playmaking ability decent defender a solid athlete he's got a shot okay and he had a solid collegiate career at rhode island he was able to do a little bit of everything and his team he led his team to two ncaa tournament appearance at rhode island but the thing is is he doesn't have a super like elite skill and i think you could develop as a, a really good backup point guard in my opinion and I just, I personally think that if you look at our guy, Jeff Dalton, I thought wingspan wise, he just had humongous arms, but I guess, I guess I was wrong. Um, I, I actually can't find his wingspan. So I wonder what it is. All right. So what is it? Yeah, no, I think. I can't find his wingspan. I, I want to know if Jeff Dalton is he's got a wingspan, but nowhere has it listed. I probably probably has like a six five wingspan. I'm actually surprised nowhere has it listed. But either way, how do you think he fits into the Raptors backcourt? Well, I think interesting enough is that it can be actually a decent fit. Okay, with what we got right here, DJ Wilson and who just got signed, he's more of a forward. Really, Malachi Flynn, Armani Brooks, Delano Banton, and you know Ron Harper Jr., Jeff Dalton are all going to be fighting for those minutes behind Gary Trent and Fred Van Vliet. I think it'll be interesting. And I think at the end of the day, Jeff Dalton will be fighting an uphill battle against Delano Banton, who's kind of... And Malachi Flynn, Malachi was a first round pick. Delano Bannon was a second round pick who they're high on. And he also had a really good summer league. So if I had to put money on it, I'm, I'm going with our boy Delano and Malachi playing those minutes. So let me hear your thoughts down below. It was a good pickup. What do you guys think of Jeff Dalton? I'm at my dad's house. It's not good lighting because of where I'm sitting to be near the charger.